getting answers. This is CBS 13 Mornings. A nearly 70 mile stretch of Interstate 80 is shut down this morning due to hazardous and dangerous driving conditions. This is a live look up at 80 and Dutch Flat right now. We're seeing these closures start at Colfax all the way through the Nevada state line. Well, Valley residents also seeing a little bit of powder, maybe more like foothills, right? Yeah. How people spent their rare day in the snow. But first, here's a live look at the airport. You notice the camera shaking. Mm -hmm. It is really windy out there to go with the rain and snow in some places. Much more on your forecast coming up in a bit. Good morning. It is Friday, February 24th. I'm John Dabkovich. And I'm Dina Kupfer. That, of course, is going to be our top story all morning long for you. So meteorologist Tracy Humphrey is here with your first alert action day. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So first alert action day. What is a first alert action day? That is a day when your weather is doing something out of the norm. Today we are very unseasonal. Temperatures well below average. Very strong winds. We got a low snow for areas around 1,000 feet in elevation. That's going to be throughout the day today. Heavy rounds of rainfall coming in for the valley floor and for the Sierra more feet of snowfall. So today a first alert action day wet, windy and cold for the Sierra. Again, feet of snowfall expected widespread valley rainfall. Some of the heaviest rounds coming in right now. Here's a look at your Doppler radar and we're looking at some of that yellow and orange coming in through Sacramento. That's moderate to heavy rainfall. Now add in a wind gust around 30 to 40 miles per hour. You've probably been hearing the wind howling throughout much of the overnight. We got a wind advisory that's going to be in effect until around four o'clock this afternoon. Now here's that rain and snow line coming in just near Auburn. That's where you're going to get a little bit of everything. So probably a little grapple, probably uh, coming in a little sleet and you're going to have a little rain. You're going to have a little slush. You'll have a little snow. Uh, Driving is going to be really bad here. And then as you get up 80, you'll get genuine snowfall. And again, the wind is really going to be the element. Also looking at some snowfall coming in right now through Pollock Pines, Cameron Park right now. You got rainfall. Here's a look at the future cast. So we got the showers today. They'll be wrapping up during the day on Saturday. Then another wave is expected to come through late Sunday. Another wave is going to be in the forecast for Monday. This one's going to linger all the way through Tuesday as well as into Wednesday, and that's going to keep us very busy throughout much of next week. Here's some of the new forecast totals today through Wednesday. Three to six inches of rainfall possible. One to three inches of rainfall for the valley floor. Four to eight feet of snowfall for the Sierra. That's a look at your weather for your traffic. Hey, Courtney. Hey, good morning. So uh, right now I just want to concentrate on the, the chain situation, right? Of course, you've got the chain requirements in place if you're uh, trying to head up toward those mountain bound passes. Probably not a good time to drive up there, but you you're grown. You do what you want to do. Uh, do want to let you know, though, it is closed on eastbound, the eastbound direction of 80, uh, starting at Colfax all the way through the state line. Uh, always check ahead with Caltrans, either online or with those toll free numbers, uh, because the ch uh, chain requirements change and fluctuate throughout the day. So just be prepared for that type of stuff. Another thing to consider, it's been a while since we had precipitation. So now you've got oil on the roadways in addition to wet and depending on where you are, icy roads. All of that is a horrible combination. So. Be prepared uh, to pay a little extra attention on the roadways. You can follow us on Twitter at Good Day Traffic. Okay, thank you very much, Court. A nearly 70 mile stretch of I 80 shut down right now because of the dangerous driving conditions caused by the storm. This is what it looks like right now on I 80 in Truckee. There is no estimated time for when the road is going to reopen. And last night, Caltrans urged drivers just turn around instead of waiting for that closure to be lifted. One man we talked with is warning others to stay home or come prepared. You know, I have, I have a coat, I got pants, I got gloves, I got a shovel in the back, I got uh, you know, uh, plates in case I get stuck to dig myself out, so come prepared. Caltrans is also warning to not take a chance driving through treacherous conditions. They're urging drivers to check the forecast and the road conditions before you head out. All right, so Highway 50 is open this morning, but chain controls are in place on that side. Yep, Dave Grassoff is making his way up 50. He is live near Cameron Park with a look at the conditions there. Looks like still just rain, correct, Dave? Just rain right now coming through the Cameron Park area, and I do listen to our news stories that we do because what a great idea oh, thanks, to throw a shovel in the back. For as much as I go to the, for as much as I go to the snow, I uh, 
I've never done that, throw a shovel in. So, yeah, roadways uh, pretty daunting this morning as you start out. Just uh, left Sacramento area a short time ago, and it is gusty, uh, lots of ponding water on the roadways because the rain's been coming down so hard. Uh, yeah, it is just blustery conditions. Also, you know those uh, Caltrans will put out those big orange barrels when they're doing construction work? Well, one of them was dislodged and sitting in the middle of Highway 50, kind of right around uh, Mather Field Road. So cars, obviously, with the conditions, had to uh, move out of the way of that. It just came up on you quickly. So, uh, yes, uh, pretty ugly conditions. We're seeing a lot of uh, crashes already happening this morning, kind of throughout the Sacramento Valley. So we'll continue our way up 50. Right now, temperature gauge reads 36 degrees, so no snow right here as I make my way through Cameron Park. can tell you chain controls uh, on the 50 side. I just saw the board as I came through Folsom. It was all lit up saying uh, chain controls just a little bit east of Placerville, just a little bit east of Placerville all the way to Myers. So we'll continue on up and uh, hopefully get to the snow, the low snow, pretty soon. John, Dina. Okay. Thank you, Dave. Well, some schools will be closed today because of the storm, and that includes all schools at Amador Unified School District and West Point Elementary in Calaveras Unified School District as well. Well, the storm is also battering the valley with gusty winds and rain. We have Jordan Segundo live this morning at Sacramento's Land Park to give us a view of what the valley is experiencing as people are waking up. Good morning to you, Jordan. Yeah, good morning, John and Dino. If you're working up here in the valley, you're definitely dealing with a lot of rain. We're here at Land Park, and it's a consistent, steady shower. You know, driving around here, Sean and I, we have seen some heavier showers driving through parts of the valley, and we ended up here at Land Park, and there has been a lot of flooding on the roadways. The winds here just as strong. You can see that, that garbage can right behind us toppled over. We have been feeling winds around 20 miles per hour sustained, but with this wind advisory, wind gusts could get up to 40 to possibly 50 miles per hour throughout the morning. Now, again, we've been dealing mainly with rain. The temperatures here in the valley are mainly right now in the upper 30s to 40s. So on the, on the windshield here, no grapple at the moment. So we're not quite getting the perfect conditions to see any snowfall, at least in the valley for now. But again, we're still getting a lot of rain and it looks like it's going to continue through much of the morning. We'll continue to drive around the valley to see a few areas and see how it's looking like in your town throughout the morning. But for now, we will send it back to you in the studio. Dina, John. All right, we'll check back with you, Jordan. Well, the storm also has knocked out power to some PG&E customers this morning. Here's a live look at the utilities outage map. Some of the biggest outages right now, Hidden Valley, Knights Landing, also Sutter. SMUD is reporting about three dozen outages, impacting nearly 3,300 customers this morning. We are going to be following this storm for you all morning long, but you can get the latest updates on the CBS Sacramento weather app. It's free and available for Apple and Android phones. All right, and some other regional headlines we're following. Online courses have been canceled today for Stanislaus State due to a major internet outage. The university said there has been no internet access at both of their main Turlock campus locations and the Stockton Satellite Campus since Tuesday. In a statement, the school said they detected a service disruption that required them to take certain computer systems offline. Sacramento County is opening the doors to a new Adult Protective Services Senior Center. With the help of Volunteers of America, Natoli Place is going to house up to 15 adults who are 16 and older who either don't have a place to live or have been neglected. They hope to start accepting people by next month. New federal funding set to retrofit a Sacramento center into a hub for extreme weather events. Congresswoman Doris Matsui secured nearly $2 million in funding for the Pinnell Community Center on Meadowview Road. The money will be used to improve the building with better air filtration and HVAC systems, plus adding solar panels and energy storage for emergency crews. Well, that lucky pup that was rescued from Stanislaus County could be your new friend. He's looking for a forever home. We told you about this yesterday. The dog had to be rescued from the canal. Uh, this was the Delta Mendota Canal on Wednesday. The Patterson Fire Department was able to safely pull the little guy out of the water. He was then turned over to the Stanislaus Animal Services and is now available for adoption. Look how cute. So cute, that sweet little pup. All right, well, it is 5.09. It is a first alert action day, and meteorologist Tracy Humphrey is tracking the storm for us. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So here we go. Let's start off with that wind advisory because I know we got the rain and we got the uh, snow, 
but the winds have been substantial. So this wind advisory in effect until 4 o'clock this afternoon. That's going to be for the valley for parts of those East Bay Hills, even into parts of the Bay Area. That wind advisory through 4 o'clock this afternoon coming in through Friday. And those winds are anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour, but some of the strongest winds are happening right now. So take a look at the wind speeds. 25 mile per hour winds in Fairfield, 29 in Stockton, 18 in Sacramento, 28 in Marysville, 17 down in Modesto. There is a pronounced difference between the wind speed and the wind gusts, right? So wind speed is the measure of the wind that we have over a period of two minutes, right? Wind gusts is when you have a burst or increase in speed around 20 seconds. 22 mile per hour winds gusting in Auburn, 29 in Sacramento, 41 in Stockton, 35 down in Modesto. So now you add in, we got the wind, now we got rain and some of that rain's coming down pretty heavy. We also got snow showers coming in, especially for parts of the foothills. Auburn, you are just sitting on that rain and snow line, so you're going to be getting a little bit of everything. But waves of moisture coming in as this low pressure system continues to impact the region. It's going to be sinking down to the south and eventually the chance of showers will sink down to the south with it. So we're going to clear from the north to the south later on that's going to be late tonight into early Saturday morning. So Saturday you'll start out with a few late showers. After that you see those showers diminishing as you move into the mid afternoon hours and then all of this heads down to Southern California. As far as future wind gusts they are still in play. You can see 39 in Sacramento around 5 o'clock in the morning, 36 coming around 6 o'clock in the morning, 31 coming in around 8, 11 o'clock in the morning and then finally wind starting to let up just a bit. Here's a look at what we have as far as those winter weather alerts. They still got blizzard warnings down in SoCal as well as the opportunity for winter storm warnings as well. Our weather definitely impacting the entire state. Coming up, more rain and snow on the way. How much of next week we could be looking at more wintry weather. Back to you, Court. Thank you, Tracy. So I want to update you on what's happening as far as your uh, super commute is concerned. Tracy drivers 205 and 580 a little heavier than usual for a Friday morning uh, for Westmounters. Also seeing a little bit of a backup on that 580 connection up where 205 and 580 meet. So as you make your way into the Altamont Pass, seeing some red uh, once you hit that 580 split. 22 minutes from MacArthur to the split and another uh, 21 minutes or so as you continue westbound out towards Livermore, Pleasanton and Dublin. Trying to keep an eye on uh, Dave's shot. He's in Rover this morning uh, to see if it's switched over. He's eastbound on 50 uh, coming through Sh Shingle Springs. So far, still wet, not quite snowy, but we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. Thank you, Court. Well, downtown showing its support for the Sacramento Kings, the building that you're going to see light up for each home game coming up. <laughs> Light the beam and more. All right, also weather is impacting many different areas across the state. How big bear residents have been impacted by all of that snow that's coming up.